eating what I catch for 48 hours in the Amazon jungle. In this video, we trek over 300 miles to a remote waterfall camp deep in the Amazon rainforest, where for the next three days, we will be sleeping, fishing, camping, and eating with the locals. Mm, yeah. Is this yeah. too much for this Florida boy to handle, or do I have what it takes to survive in the Amazon jungle? We're gonna take a little hike through the woods because there's a dangerous rapid there and they're not gonna let us be in the boat. He's gonna take the boat through the rapids. We're gonna meet him on the other side and we're gonna try to find some more power, some more fish, maybe some new species. Let's go. Look at this giant beetle. Columbia is such a cool place. Tons of cool wildlife. Hopefully later today or on our trip, we can catch some really cool animals too. We want to catch some, some cool animals on video. This is a beetle. Let's see if he flies and throw him up. One, two. Well, we just finished walking this trail about maybe half a mile. Amazing. It's very sketchy, slippery rocks at some point, but it's just mind blowing how, how much the, the landscape here changes. The wildlife, the scenery is all incredible, but they said that big pyre this way, so we're gonna get in the boat and we're gonna try to get a big pyre. If we can get one over 20 pounds, that would make the trip insane. They definitely get that big here. This is one of the best places to get them. So let's go find them. Duck or bleed? Oh yeah. Here we go. Uh. All right, next spot, just went through the rapids. We have a big storm coming, lightning. We are deep in the Amazon, man. Fish on. Second cast. Look at that. And a stick. Oh, it's another giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's another big pile right now. That, that, that's a big pyar, bro. 13.3 pounds. Another double digit pyar, man. Pyara, baby. Oh, she was ready. She was ready. Oh, muy bien, gracias. Oh, you saw that? Peacock? Pavon? There it is, there it is. Oh my God, that's a pavon. That has to be a peacock by the hit. That has to be a peacock. Oh, what is that? Jamu. A jamu? Jamu. That's a jamu. Dude, he freaking hit it so hard. Muy grande? Muy grande. Okay. Oh god, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out. Where's Boga? Where's Boga? Right here, right here. That is a cool looking fish. Please. Please. You got him. Oh, oh my god. god. Muy, muy grande. grande, muy grande. Dude, he hit it so hard. Muy bueno. Para comer. Eating? Should we eat it? Okay. We're gonna take it? Uh -huh. All right, this is gonna be catch and cook. 
All right, guys, new species. 6.37 pounds. Look at the teeth. Beautiful. It looks like a Paku and a Shiner had a baby. <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. Jamu? Jamu. Jamu. I think I need to sink deeper, man. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! It ate it right on top water. What was it? I don't know. Not a payara, but it ate it right on top water. Gamu. Man, that was such a cool eat. All right, another Jammu, first fish taken on the Grays title. Big shout out to Grays for, for gearing me up on these epic fishing adventures. Beautiful Jammu. Very similar to Opaku, but they are not related. Got a nice hook set. Dropped it right underneath the tree. She came up and smoked it right on top. Let's go ahead. It might be dinner. She can be her back. There she goes. Beautiful. Jamu. Thank you, gracias. We finally arrived to the waterfall that we will call home for the next three days. We decided to cast out a few worms in hopes of fresh catfish dinner, but had no contact, and light was running thin. So we packed it up and pulled the boat to the muddy shoreline, which would lead us to camp. My first full day of fishing in Colombia was a challenge. Out here with my good buddies, Jake. How was your day on the water, brother? I saw a lot of fish. I moved a lot of fish. Did I hook a lot of fish? No. Broke a fly rod and broke a casting rod, but tomorrow's a new day. We got a lot of days to fish, so not worried about it. Uh, this is where we're gonna sleep tonight. They're cooking some dinner. Actually, they're making the fish that I caught for dinner, which is the Juman, I think it's called. I don't know, my brain is barely working. I need to catch up on some sleep. After a warm cup of joe and a quick dinner, we rigged up rods and charged up for tomorrow. But nothing could prepare me for what would happen the next day. We woke early this morning. Unzipping our tents, we found out we also shared camp with thousands of buzzing bees. Here, so we have uh, sorry, bro. I had uh, five bees on me. Okay, <laughs> there was no avoiding them, all of us being stung this morning. After breakfast, we grabbed our gear and walked down the slippery wooden planks to our boats, which we proceeded downstream to fish new waters. However, Mother Nature had different plans. Pescado. More than half the day of fishing had been consumed by non-stop heavy rains. We fished through it until it became too cold for us to handle and decided to take cover under some trees. All right, guys, welcome back. We were just being absolutely torrential downpour on for, oh my God, did you see that? There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Big head shakes. Oh, whoa, what is this? Jam no, 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 that's a Paku. Is it? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Dinner for tonight. Muy grande, Jambu. The water was rising fast and turning to mud. Our only option was to cross through the rapids in hopes of finding better conditions. After our sketchy ride through the rapids, we saw something that has never been documented before. Payaras everywhere. Silverbacks exposed, rolling like tarpon, free jumping like hungry tunas. The water was clean with strong current and bait fish flowing through. 
the perfect feeding scenario for big payaras and hungry jungle predators. I decided to put down the spinning rod and challenge myself with the fly. This looks good. Oh my God, there it is. There we go. No, no, no. Dude, that was him. Mm hmm Dude, we're, we're gonna get one on fly. Power on fly, man. We got, we, we're gonna get it. Oh my God, did you see that? Did you see that? Giant Pyara, giant Pyara. Oh my God, Pyara, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh yes, yes. Pyara on fly. Oh man, oh man on the Grace 10 weight title. Nice Pyara. Look at that fish. You ready? Get her with the boga. Boga, boga, boga. <laughs> we got her. We got her, man. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Pyara on the fly. Knocked off the bucket list. Look, look at that. Gracias, Javier. Your nombre? Victor. Victor. They are the best people, man. Getting poured on. We're all just staring at each other laughing. Gonna catch an anaconda with these guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Realizing it might rain overnight and ruin the fishing completely. I knew I had to make these last few hours count By our number two on the fly. Oh my gosh Oh man, this is epic on the eight weight Such a strong fish. Oh Yeah, it's a good one, bro. There we go. Now we're safer. Line's back in the reel. Be careful, light line. Yes. Yes. Gracias. Another Payara. Beautiful fish. Take a look at that tooth right there. What a freaking day. This is magical. Only way to describe this feeling. It literally feels so surreal. What a unique fish. What a unique fishery. The Sea Tech Peacock Basher is bringing me some good luck. If you guys want any of the Sea Tech stuff, you can use code RYANIS20 for 20% off. Wow. Numero dos, Payara on fly. That's amazing. Look at the bees. They're flying all day. They think I'm a giant flower. They're not stinging. I got stung <laughs> twice by bees today. Two bee stings. After dinner, Beto shouted that there was a caiman in the small creek behind camp. The creek that we have all been showering and doing dishes in. I shouted for someone to grab a rope and a stick and meet me at the small creek in which I entered the water and tried to catch it. And then this happened. Yeah, after dinner, we were just all chilling. And Beto ran up. He said, there's, "Dude, there's a caiman in the creek." We're literally Adrian just showered. All of us been showering in this creek. This is a smooth-fronted caiman. Come real close. This is a rare species of caiman in South America. One of nine species. Mind blowing. He's he's perfectly fine. We got his mouth closed. But man, if this thing gets a hold of you, he'll do a death roll, and this will absolutely ruin your trip. I mean, we're 300 miles deep in the jungle. This is not. A very smart thing to do, but Chewy, Chewy, this is Cayman. Cayman, uh, this is probably the closest you've ever been to a Cayman. 
All right, come back here, Beto. Joey, shh, afuera. What a beautiful creature. Whoa! <laughs> nice catch, bro. Beto. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> He's got some teeth marks in it. That's a big catfish right there. Oh my God! Oh my God! He's trying to freaking saw the boat right now. Oh, keep reeling, keep reeling. I got him out, I got him out, I got him out, I got him out, I got him out. He's out of the snag. 